I want to talk to you today about the vaccination programme for frontline healthcare workers. Firstly, I want to thank you again for your work and commitment to providing healthcare to our patients throughout 2020, which has been the most difficult year for all of us in living memory. There is light at the end of the tunnel with the rollout of safe and effective vaccines against COVID-19. I want to assure you that we are committed to offering the vaccine to all frontline healthcare workers as quickly as possible. At this point in time, our principal challenge is the limited numbers of vaccine doses available. We have now given nearly 122,000 vaccines up to the 20th of January, 73,000 to frontline healthcare workers and 48,800 to residents and staff of long-term care facilities. We are in target to get to all long-term care facilities with the first vaccine before the end of the month. Most of the deliveries over the coming weeks will be used for the second dose. When we complete the vaccination of residential care facilities, vaccine supplies will be directed to frontline healthcare workers and in the meantime, any vaccine doses that are not needed for long-term care facilities will be directed to frontline healthcare workers. We will give equal priority to frontline healthcare workers working in the community and in hospitals. Last weekend saw over 1,800 GPs and practice nurses get vaccinated in mass clinics. For healthcare workers who are not in direct patient contact, it will probably most likely be April before we get to you based on estimated deliveries. Everything is dependent on the ongoing delivery of the vaccines. Remember, the vaccine takes some time to work. You will not have the full benefit until some time after you've received the second dose. Even after the vaccine has its full effect, good ongoing infection prevention and control measures remain important to protect you and to control spread of the virus and many other healthcare associated infections. So please keep up the efforts of keeping distance whenever you can, cleaning your hands and use of appropriate PPE. Thank you again for your dedication and commitment. Mina Boikas, Islam Live.